Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and so if you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Where were we at? There we go, okay. Oh yeah, the gang was bowling. Alright. <clears throat> And yes, I am totally staring at Sai as I think of this. The tiger takes a swing and throws a ball cleanly down the middle of the line. It crashes against the pins and knocks them all down in one fell swoop. Whoa! Did you seriously just do a spare? Seriously? On his second try? Why do you look so unhappy about that? I'm not unhappy. I'm thrilled. I smell burning. Ishwichi, I think it's your pants. Har har. Um, so if I remember correctly from what Ishwichi-san told me, this means I got 10 points, right? Plus the amount of pins you knocked down in your first throw during the next frame, yes. So, that means I'm currently winning? At least so far as the first frame is concerned, yeah. Yay, I don't suck! That that had to be beginner's luck, right? I think so. Either that or the savant has awakened. Is there even such a thing as a bowling savant? I hope not. Can you two stop grumbling over there? Yes, ma'am. I'm next. Let's see if I can at least get enough points to not fall behind on the first frame. I inspect the balls available to me, sitting on, sitting on a purple one with a galaxy motif. My fingers fit nicely inside, and it doesn't feel uncomfortable to hold. I have to admit, the heft of a bowling ball in my hands is something I hadn't felt in a while. I've totally grown unaccustomed to it. Man, I think it's been over a year since we last played. Cross your fingers for me, guys! Yep, here's hoping they both fly right into the gutter. Alright, let me rephrase. Cross your fingers, everyone that isn't Shuichi. Oh, you're no fun. I hold the ball in front of my face, trying to take aim and prepare myself to throw it. Since it's been a while, I'm sure my aim is going to be a little off. I'll use my first throw to, to adjust myself so I can have a better idea of where to aim. For now, I just swing the ball, curving myself forward to release it straight towards the floor. It veers slightly to the left as it rolls, threatening to go down the gutter before crashing against, the, against a few pins. Hey, five on the first throw, not bad. Boo, it's no fun if you don't mess up. Stop cheering against me already, you traitor. How am I a traitor? I don't remember ever taking your side in bowling before. I see how it is. I quickly grab another ball to do my second throw. Since I've knocked down most of the pins on the left side, I'll have to aim for the ones on the right now. I throw the ball again. This time it knocks three more pins. The falling pins graze against the other two that aren't directly hit by the ball, causing them to sway aggressively. Ooh! But they end up not falling, leaving me only with the three pins I got down initially. Rats! I almost got a spare! Rats off to you. Uh, congrats to maybe three people in my audience who get that reference. Damn, that's just too bad. Quit looking so amused. Amused? Me? <laughs> I would never. I'm sorry you didn't get those other pins, Yuichi san. Eh, what can you do? I just didn't get lucky. Well, it's my turn now. Go, Kaken! Aw, thanks for cheering for. Please don't knock too many down. I don't want to be the last. I don't want to be last place on the first frame. I take my thanks back. Kaken spends almost a full minute examining the balls before deciding on which one he wanted. He is by far one of the pickiest people I know when it comes to picking a ball. He checks every minute detail. It tends to get really annoying when he repeats this for many frames in a row. Once he's found one he's satisfied with, he doesn't dally before taking his first shot. The ball knocks down four pins on its first go. Not too bad. Three more and you get more points than Saya. Five more and you get more than Shuichi and Yuichi. I knocked pins in the middle. There's no way my ball can hit both sides at the same time. Boo! Just knock them all down already! I thought you didn't want me to get many points. She has no idea what she wants. Zip it, wolf boy! I'm a husky, thank you very much. Kaken spends a long time picking his next ball. This time it takes even longer than before, almost two full minutes before he finds a perfect match. This time he manages to knock down three pins, just enough to overtake Saya. Damn it! Thank you now. Water time. Hmm. Alright. I should have gotten more. Well, you're in the bottom two for now. We're still in the first frame. There's still a lot of game to be played before you can start gloating. I'm not even gloating. June is ahead of Shuichi and I, and me, remember? I don't expect that I'll be for long, though. Truth be told, I don't either, but that would be a dickish thing to say out loud. 
After a little over an hour of gaming, we finish the last frame and the scores get tallied up. Yes, I win! Fucking finally! I haven't won in so long! I'm... I'm second place? Are you kidding? No way! A single point ahead of me, too. Damn it. So close. Not too bad. At least I wasn't dead last again. I can't believe you beat me by a single point! Yep, and don't you forget it. Final scores are very close together, all things considered. I was in first place with 89 points, June was second with 84, Keisuke was third with 83, Shuichi fourth with 74, and Saya last with 73. It really felt like a game where just even a few points would make a huge difference. And I won't lie, it feels good to win. Usually either Saya or Keisuke ended up taking first place, so I'm definitely surprised to have won this time. You're really off your game today, Saya-chan. Did something happen? Not that I know of, I just suck today. Jeez, if you suck, then I if you suck, then I barely managed to beat your score, then what does that say about me? But you suck, but that shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, none of us is crazy good in the first place, and our scores were actually pretty low this time. No one broke a hundred. Well, we haven't played in a long time, for one. That's not an excuse, though. Kobayashi could never played before, and he beat most of our scores. I'm pretty sure that was just beginner's luck. Still, you did pretty well for your first time. You definitely deserve some congratulations on that, Junkun. Thank you. I didn't expect something like this to happen. But you, but you did do really well for your first time. Not only that, you even got a full 10-point lead over Shuichi and Saya. That's pretty good. <laughs> I guess the bowling idea was pretty successful after all, huh? I won't lie. I enjoyed myself. I missed bowling. Why did you guys go so long without playing? We all got busy with our competitions last year and just didn't play again once we were a little more free. I guess it just never crossed our minds. I still can't believe I did that badly. I still can't believe I beat you. Stop gloating already! Never. I will never forget this moment. You didn't even win! But I got a higher score than you. That's all that matters. Ah! You think we can head to the restaurant already? It's almost 6 p.m., so we could. It'll be a pretty early dinner, though. It doesn't matter. Odin isn't... Odin isn't something you want to rush through eating anyway. It's better to take our time. Yeah, well, we'll probably be there for over an hour easily. There's also, t there's also the time it takes to get there. How far is it? We'll have to take the train. It'll be at least 20 minutes to get there. So it'll already be six by the time we arrive. Yeah, I think we should really get going. witchy san are you sure it's okay for you to be treating me? Of course it is. It's my pleasure, June. I'd rather pay and have you with us. It's not. It's just not the same without you. Uh, I don't know what to say. When do the two of you get so chummy with each other? What do you mean? We're just as friendly with each other as we've always been. Really? Because it definitely feels like you guys got really closer, got really closer lately. Whatever do you mean? It's the same as always, isn't that right, June? Y yeah. What's with that look on your face? Is something wrong? No, not at all. Don't forget to return the shoes. Oh, yeah, I almost walked out with her shoes. Then you wouldn't be able to go to school tomorrow without proper shoes. We finally arrived at the restaurant Shuichi suggested. Having underestimated the afternoon rush, it took us nearly an hour to arrive, and we had to go through several crowds of people at the train station, not to mention being squished inside the train itself like a bunch of sardines in a can. June, in particular, did not take well to that part. My arm is still numb from how hard he was clutching it. Ugh, I swear transit gets a little worse every year. Thank you know, water time. Hmm. Well, Saitama, Saitama's been growing a lot lately. I really miss living in a smaller city. I'm just glad we've arrived. I don't think I can keep breathing inside that station. Man, this place is chock full of people. Are there even any open seats? I'll ask the waiter. Hang on a second. To which he approaches the nearby waiter as he finishes serving a desk, talking to him with words we can't hear and gesturing to our group. He and the waiter talk for a bit before the guy nods. To which he looks towards us and flashes a thumbs up before making a gesture with his head that tells us to follow him. It turns out there are still a few open tables a little further on the back of the restaurant. The location of them isn't very visible from the entrance, but I can't complain considering it's almost 7 p.m. by the time we get here. By the time we got here. There. Problem solved in a jiffy. Why was there even a problem? We're still in spring. Why are so many people in here? This place doesn't just serve Odin, you know. Otherwise, they'd be going out of business during three-fourths of the year. Yeah, I guess so. Today's pretty chilly, too, so I'm sure there are other people like us who come by to get something warm. Oh yeah, that's for sure. How much does it cost to eat in this place anyway? It looks kind of fancy on the inside. Like I said earlier, it's just a, it's not the cheapest, but it's not expensive either. It's just the decor that's really good. The cheapest Odin meal on the menu is around 2,000 yen though. Ouch, that's kind of pricey. I think I'll stick to the cheapest option. Don't be ridiculous. Order whatever you want. I want, to, I want you to enjoy yourself. 
But it's so expensive. Come on, June, I actually want to treat you. Don't cheap out on me here. I want you to eat whatever you want to eat. Okay. You don't have to be so reserved around us, June Kun. Agreed. You're already with us every day of the week. You don't have to keep acting like a stranger. It's not that. I'm just not too good at accepting things from other people. I feel like I haven't done anything to deserve it. You spend time with me, you make me laugh, and I enjoy being with you. I'm pretty sure that's reason enough for me to want, want you around. Yuichi-san? Get a room, you two. What? Could you not say weird stuff like that? I don't say sappy stuff like that in public. Yeah, yeah. Have any, of you, have any of you decided on what you're going to order? We haven't even checked the menu yet. Wait, were you reading the menu while we talked? You didn't listen to a single thing we said, did you? I tuned out around the time Irata started mocking you two. I wasn't mocking them. Not exactly. I think I'll just go for something lighter. Chicken stock and vegetables sounds pretty good. I want something a little more fulfilling myself. Lots of meat in mine. You should be telling that to the waiter, not us. The waiter isn't even here yet. Well, call him over. Do you have to speak in that kind of tone all the time? What tone? I'm talking like I always do. Exactly. What? And what's the problem? Damn, it's been a while since I last bickered like that, so I didn't think I'd have to deal with it again today. From the corner of my eye, I already see June tensing up on the chair next to mine. It seems she's even considering whether he should weigh in and say something. Just as I prepare myself to speak by mind, Saiyachan clears her throat. What was it you said again? Get a room, you two. What? Saiyachan, don't say weird things like that either. I call that instant karma. Don't be looking so pleased over that. There's no way I'm pleased over something like this. It's good. It's a good thing you're cute because you're a terrible liar. Still smiling and looking oh so pleased with himself, June beckons over the waiter. He takes her orders very quickly and politely. I'm kind of surprised. The service here is pretty good. What are you saying? That the service where I work is bad? You want to pick a fight? Where do you even get these outlandish ideas from? And Mizuguchi san rolled for perception. It was a one. Um, what? No, nothing. Probably some kind of game stuff. Maybe June kind of can tell us what it is. Sorry, I have no idea. I guess this means Urushi Hara's into some pretty obscure stuff, huh? That sounded so wrong. And yet, oh, so right. Why do I bother with you? Because you love me? Did you hit your head somewhere? Sheesh, you don't have to shoot me down so coldly. It's like nail water time. One of the reasons why I love... Why I love Tennessee so much is because the banter between all... All four of these people, or all five of these people, just feel so nice and natural. It's just, it's a, it's like, it's like Friends the game, but with furries and with less horrific emotional trauma and abusive relationships. Yeah. And Friends is a very fucked up show once you kind of break it down. It's a terrifying show if you completely remove the laugh track, which some people have done on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, get a br- Don't you dare! I'm pretty sure that one joke really turned against you big time, huh? It's fine. I'm already used to having my big mouth used against me. Dumbass. What did you just say, punk? Who? Me? I have no clue. Mm-hmm. That's so. Pretty squa petty squabbles aside, I'm actually kind of curious. How are the festival preparations going for you guys? Pretty terrible. My class decided on a theme a while ago, but they can't agree on the division of the work. Ours has been pretty much smooth sailing, but I guess the theme is a little more boring than I would like. What did your classes pick? Mine went for an international cafe. Each booth is supposed to serve food and drinks from different countries. That sounds like a logistics nightmare. Exactly! Her dry, unamused tone of voice was already enough to tell me how she felt about the whole thing. My class picked a library theme. We're basically gonna host a library. Woo. Uh, fun, fun, fun. Don't you sass me. My class wanted to do a haunted house of all things. A haunted house? Why? Beats me. It's what they voted for. Man, that's gotta be a bitch to organize. Tell me about it. I had to listen to a 20-minute conversation on whether patrons should be chased around by, by Nettie Luger or Mason. Our class is gonna serve Szechuan cuisine. Uh, that's pretty much it. The girls are gonna be wearing Chinese dresses, too. Oh, that sounds like fun. You just say that because you want to ogle the girls. I won't say no to that. No shame. I wonder if we'll get any costumes in my class. You can just show up in your regular clothes to be the bouncer. That's a great idea. I'll make sure to throw you out the window first. <laughs> I guess I'm going for a trip. Our classes are on the third floor. You'd be going on. You'd be going on a trip to the hospital. Oh, 
All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.